Welcome back to the MPC Steve Stone Metropolitans here in Teaneck, New Jersey at the Marriott New new venue. We have two guests with us here today. I have IFBB Pro Marco Rivera. What's up, what's up? And uh, one of the grandmasters of hip hop, Melly Mel, live and direct. AKA Muscle Simmons in the building, Muscle baby. Muscle Simmons, baby. Muscles, baby. Come Muscles. And get it. <laughs> Bang, watch out, man. You're making me look small. Guys, thank you so much for coming on the Bigger the Big Show. Uh, let's get into it right away. What brings you guys here today? Marco, what's going on with you, brother? Well, I mean, you know, this is the Metropolitans, man. I'm a, I'm a New Yorker. It's a whole time show. It's the first show of the year here at, uh, within the city itself. And, uh, you know, I, I came up through these shows. And the people coming out to support us was the reason why we was able to continue doing these shows. So it's all about showing support and making sure that, you know, the craft and what we do is, is being carried forth in the right way. Absolutely. I think the IPC is doing a great thing. Look at this venue. You're talking about an amateur show. Team Universe usually held here. So it's good to see amateurs getting that stage, mm. that grand presence, that nice stage, that great lighting. Yeah. So now i love to see that happen. What do you think about the change in the venue? Uh, I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, I, you know, I'm a competitor, man. So comfortability, accessibility, you know, they got the food, they got the carpet, really good room temperature. Like all those things play a tremendous factor for competitors coming in, dehydrated, really tired, really low calorie diet. So. Uh, you know, although everybody looks amazing, they're actually at weak point. So, you know, this place, so much more space, the parking, it was just a perfect move. Uh, awesome. And the most important part, the hotel upstairs. Not many people get to compete, take the elevator downstairs and your showtime. Good so boy, that's, man. That's Good boy. Now, Marco, what's next for you, man? What show are you doing next? What's going on in your life? What's, what do we got to see for the man from the Bronx, the Puerto Rican from the Bronx? What do we got to hear? <laughs> well, Not the only man from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's We're that's talking it, about man. the Bronx. Today. That's it. Old school, baby. That's it. Look at that. We're, uh, we're focusing on the New York Pro, the 212 New York Pro. It's going to be, you know, it's, this, this will be the third year in a row that I do this show. I've, I've always landed in the top five in this show. We're really good competitors fly out to do this show. Awesome. Um, but, you know, training, dieting, doing cardio, doing everything that it takes to, to win it, man. Uh, we just had a seventh plate finish at the Arnold's. Hit, uh, nailed my best conditioning ever. Flattened out a little bit and gave a little bit of size up top, but... You know, knowing what my makeup consists of and, and how how I train and, you know, being very realistic, we have a really good shot of winning the New York Pro, and that's what we're going nice. to do. That's what's up, man. I, I can't wait to see you on that New York Pro stage. And I think it's important to take note that Marco's got a dumbbell on his <laughs> necklace, and Melly Mel has got, of course, a microphone like a true exactly. MC. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. He's still got it. Freshness. Unbelievable. Let's, let's, <laughs> put, let's put the spotlight on you for a quick minute, man. Where do you fit into this whole universe? Where does an MC, one of the pioneers from the BX, end up in Jersey at a bodybuilding show? Well, I, I was fortunate enough at, at the age of 24, which is a late bloomer, to go in the gym and be working out. And like, like I, I think this is one of the things, like if you could add the discipline and what it takes to, to be a to be a bodybuilder mm -hmm. and add that to entertainment, even how you stand, how you're gonna face the camera, how you how you posture yourself up, it actually makes you a better performer. So, wow. uh, and I'm on my 30th year of. of of working out, eyeing that over over 50, I, I think I could have placed I, I could I could have placed like second or third out there. <laughs> out there right? now, you, you know, know I, I, I would take the Masters Division by storm. You know, I think I could get it so I could go on stage and eat a Twinkie and still win. Woo! Yo, yo, that's right, right pretty now, braggadocious. Right. So right now I could have been second or third. Over All right, you heard it here on the big, the big Show, man. Yo, yo, you can't talk that talk <laughs> and I walk that walk. I actually challenge you at least this summer to do a competition because we know you got the presence. I, I we know you got the attitude. But can you really get in that gym and you know get under that iron and make it work? Well, I, I stay in, in, in the condition that I am right now. I stay that way all the time. All I have to do is just do a little bit extra cardio, cardio, and that's it. I won't have to cut back on carbs and nothing. Like I said, I'm, I'm gonna go on stage. I'm gonna eat a Twinkie and I'm gonna win. Over yeah, this guy's still so, so, wait, 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 Let's go back into it. So now, Mel, this is a way of life for you. Because you said it, you yeah. said it. Thirty this years. This is how you yeah. are. You know, on a routine, you don't have to be like, let me go prep. No, you actually say, look, give me a couple of weeks, right. I'll be on that. Yeah, I, I, I train basically, not not like a body, but I, I basically train like about eat seven meals a day. Uh -huh. I train like four or five times a week easy. I do cardio uh, uh, every, every time every time I train. I, I, I do the same thing that most bodybuilders do. I would also that. recommend, though, that Marco's got a really clean goatee, and you're still a bit scraggly. <laughs> if you're going to do a show, everything's got to be sharp and shiny. You know the deal. You hey, see look, these guys. Hey, look, I'm, I'm going to eat a Twinkie on stage. I'm going to wear all my jewelry and everything. And look, oh, I'm, I'm probably the best looking guy over 50 in the country. Yo, all right, when I'm 50, I'm gonna quote that. Okay, <laughs> now we're gonna re reflect and laugh hey, on look, this moment. And, and, and as far as entertainers Keep it down, go, Jeff. And, and as far as entertainers go, I'm the best built entertainer. I've been doing yeah, it for a long time. Yeah, this guy's too much. Long. I got a better body than Beyonce. <laughs>
hands down. Whoa. All right, different hands categories. Down. We're if in I go, different lanes. If I get on stage with Beyonce, she's going to lose. Yo, but you saw any, Kai. Any entertainer. You know what I would say as far as notes and critiquing? Kai was dancing to hands up in the air. And when that line happened, he didn't put his hands up in the air. And I was like, you're full of baloney. You ain't doing that Beyonce no. song justice. No. Kai, he may be a little bit too heavy to do the, the magnificent posing that he used to do. But in my case, the stage, that's my thing. I mean, I, when, if, if I was to go on stage just right now, if I was to go on stage, I'd be the best. That's what I do. That's what I, I do that all the time. All right, all right. Well, sure. It's different from in the bathroom in your shower at your house now. No. <laughs> I, I, I go to all the shows. Everybody, as any, as any pro bodybuilder who consistently goes to all the bodybuilding shows, I'm going to be the one person that they say come to all the shows. I get to right. see the support, the NPC coming to all the shows. Yeah. Like Melly Mel. no, but you know what? I love bodybuilding. I remember when it was just nothing going on. There was nothing going on in my career. I had nothing to do, nothing. I had a gym membership, and I had a workout plan, and that's what got me through the next day. That's what got me through the next month. That's what got me through the next stage of life. I mean, this is bigger. See, that's what people don't understand about bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is a staple to anything that you'd ever want to do. Yeah. If you want to be a pro, anything, yeah. you still got to go in that gym and do what we do every day. And, and it should, actually, it should get more respect, but we just got caught up in the whole PED thing. You know what I mean? It don't be, it it's don't a new be, age, man. No, 2015, it, it, it times have changed. No matter what you do, you still got to put in your work. It ain't like there's a magic pill. It ain't like you could do something. And then you know, all of a sudden, you just, like, overnight. You yeah. see what I'm saying? It's not an excuse for being in shape. There's a reason why you're in shape. You come in and you train. Yeah, you do what you got to do. Decisions. No, you're yeah. absolutely right. It just takes dedication and hard work. Mark, how long you been at it? Training, I mean, I, I used to box a few years ago, a long time mm -hmm. ago. And, uh, but putting it all together, I would estimate about 22 years. So 22 years of your yeah. life. It's not something like you said, man, overnight. It's not overnight. No, you they, they could do this. No, you got to put yeah. the work in. You got to dedicate. You have that focus. You have that that determination. Because there's days you don't want to do it. No. All right? You know that. Like you said it's, it. Uh, we're, we're, we're no different from anybody else. Mm. A lot of people think that, you know, we're... we're different species and yeah. our mentality is at a whole different level. No, man, we just, you know, it's all about, it's all about having focus and having love for something that can ultimately at some point in your life save your life, believe wow. it or not. That's how, that's how powerful this game is. This bodybuilding game is, uh, this is where we work on our temple, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a mind, it's a soul. You got to literally tap into every, every piece of energy that you have so you can get through this type of lifestyle. And practicing that on a daily basis makes every single thing that you encounter in life simple. Wow. That's what we do. We make our life it's difficult to make it simple. I know. Well spoken. Yeah, that's just that's like our own, own swells and they said basically the same thing. If you apply the principle of bodybuilding to anything else that you do in life, you'll be better at it. Because it's the same awesome. thing like wow. you go in the gym, you do a rep, you do another rep, you do a set, you do another set, and you, and you never you never uh, get complacent and you never want to settle. Yeah. yeah. The best as he would ever look, you be a bodybuilder, uh, the average person would be like, look, I'm good. Yeah. It's all a bodybuilder look at and you be look the best you ever look. You be like, I think I can get look a little bit better. Yeah, you always look And that's improve. that's what makes bodybuilders better. Then that's why and that's why I love the sport. Because I, I I've watched guys come from, you know, they'd be like 300 pounds and I see them come all the way down to the to two uh, 25 or 235 wow. that it take to do the show. And I'm just stumbling in from the club like early Saturday morning. I'm still <laughs> smelling like alcohol. I'm watching these guys I'm like, see, this is this is the dedication that wow. it really takes to do it. And that's that's why I respect the sport. Whether I would do it or not, I always respect the sport because they give you that extra that nobody has except for if you got that bodybuilding mentality, that bodybuilding spirit, you have that. Mel, would right. you say you apply the bodybuilding mentality to any of your hip hop performances as far as delivery, mannerisms, crowd control, work in the audience, moving the stage? Yeah, of course. But I mean, and that's what sets me apart from everybody. And, and like guys get mad at me and they be like, yeah, you gonna be on stage and say, yeah, I'm gonna come take my shirt up. And they all get mad. Oh, yeah, you always take the shirt up because I can. Yeah, you they're mad, they're saying? salty, they're salty. Yeah, Where, yeah. Where's the Furious Five? Are they up there flexing when they're running? No, they, 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 they in my league, you know what I mean? They, <laughs> they in their league, yo. <laughs> Shots they, taken. They didn't read the Melly Mel handbook, you know what I mean? So they I want to read that, soft, by the way. Yo, good. Marco, I heard you got a kid coming, man. I got a, I got a little girl coming on the way, so I'm gonna have a house full of girls in about another three months. Congratulations, wow. brother. Congratulations. Thank you. It's, it's life changing. Uh, it's a whole new venture once again, and it's just another reason to continue to push harder and harder every single day. Absolutely. Wow. Drive. That's a, hey, listen. On that new chapter of life. I think that's the Bigot and Big Show. I'm I'm Raja. I'm here with Melly Mel. I'm with Marco. I'm Renstar. Thanks for tuning in. We're here at the NBC Metropolitan. Yo, Natural Vitamins signing off. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Oh, Marco. Much love. Thank you, man. Familia. Oh, real pleasure.